it's been nice this time that we've had a few extra days in between the games. So it's, it's you know, the games came quick last week, and so to have now the time to recover and, and you know get into a little bit of a of a routine, some training and, and treatment and things like that, it's been uh, it's been good. In the first three games, not everything went our way. Um, you know, we're we're all honest enough to look and, and see that there were thing there were some things that weren't good enough. Um, you know, but in the end, the the these things along the way, they'll they'll make us stronger and, and we'll be better for it. And so it's important that you know we we step on the field Sunday and, and the performance um, kind of shows that we've now uh, you know come through something together as a team and, and we're stronger for it. Two days out from the game tomorrow, training in the stadium in the afternoon, 45 minutes on the field. Uh, uh, game time Sunday, 3 o'clock. It does mean, since we're the first game, that we have a warm-up on the field. Weather on Sunday, they talk about you know, mid to high 80s. So, you know, it's going to be some heat and humidity. That's what you get around here. Okay. Nice. Love nice. Yeah. 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 yeah! Yeah! No! Hey! Boom! I show you all the good stories, Jermaine. This is your introduction to America. I'll teach you. Jermaine, this is this is called a shopping mall. Hey. Louis Gauze. <laughs> Nationals hat. Always nice to get a hat from the city that you're in. Got to represent DC. Plus, I went to Maryland, so there you go. This is the next size, bigger. Yeah, three eighths. No. Yeah, what's me? No. What is five eight? That's bigger. One four. From one four to three to three eighths to a half to five eighths. What do you find? Did you find one? This one, but I'm gonna get that one in, in the white. I think the hats are my thing, so just add it to the collection. Problem is, I don't even wear half of them. I find like a couple that I just really like, and then I just stick with those. Like this one, I'll probably wear for a while. This one, I, these two I just bought, probably won't. Nah, I probably won't end up wearing. Put on, tuck your ears in though. Put your ears into the hat. Yeah, only I can do it like this. But then Watch, I, look, let me see. I need to make it bigger, you know? No, if you pull it down. Yeah, it's, it's too tight. Then get a bigger size, what I'm saying. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Then you can put it like this. My size, what I have, is one bigger. But me, I can put it on anyway. I can wear it like this. It looks good. No, it's kids, man. I have four kids. <laughs> I'm not walking around with you in that. I'm not walking around with you dragging that thing. Oh my God, son. Unbelievable. So where do you think the entrance would be? This way? Yeah. This is my first time being able to watch a game. The other times we've been playing at the same time. So it's going to be uh, kind of interesting actually watching them and uh, seeing them on TV. This is actually my first time back since scoring the goal against Costa Rica in 2009 uh, in the last qualifying game with the United States uh, before the World Cup. Over there in that corner, we got a corner kick late in the game, and Robbie Rogers uh, went over there to take the, take the corner kick, and, and he put in a good ball. And then right here, just running through the box, you know, I found myself uh, up for the corner kick, which doesn't normally happen. And uh, Robbie played a great ball right here at the edge of the six, and, and you know, came in and, and put it away with my head. So uh, it was a, a great moment for me, and, and also for US soccer. And, um, 
It was a great memory. I remember, um, you know, remember living here, um, you know, have memories of going to, to DC United games. Um, you know, I think the main thing for, for us when we come to play in DC is, is you know, always just the, the atmosphere in the, at RFK. And, you know, the field's normally good and, and people come out and support us and, and you know, it, it's a real, uh, it, it's somewhere that we all really enjoy uh, playing. It's Stephen Goff from the Washington Post. Several local reporters, one, two, one or two Latino. I told him he could do it in Spanish. Is that right? <laughs> do you get a sense, either inside the team or outside the team, whether you guys get any feedback from fans or media or whatever, that there's a bit of consternation about the, the, the performances in the first round? And does that put a little bit more pressure on you guys heading into this game than you might have otherwise? I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, we hold ourselves to a higher standard now, and we know we didn't perform, uh, we didn't have our best three games. Uh, in the first round so you know um, obviously we we see what the media writes and it wasn't uh, you know the best performances this that whatever but you know that we look at ourselves first and we know it wasn't at the the same level that, that we know we can uh, perform at. what goes on inside our team um, you know, the, the work that gets done every day on the field off the field um, you know the, the only, only we know how much we put into it, and only we're the only ones who who know um, what it's like to be a part of that. And so, it's we understand it comes with the territory that when when you go through a stretch when you're we're, you're not as sharp as, as you need to be, or, or you know the results maybe aren't what they should be. That people are gonna. Um, that you're going to come in for a little bit of criticism, and you know we we're all men. We we, you know, we accept that. And having said that, you know I think we have a really good way of kind of keeping the keeping things tight on the inside and closing closing the, kind of shutting everything else out, and and you know making sure that we're we're focused and concentrated on on the important things and. and at the end of the day, that's, that's stepping on the field on, on Sunday and, and doing whatever we have to do to make sure we're, we're in the semifinal.